Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at the maximum likelihood estimation of a parameter of Bernoulli distribution. So, given the Bernoulli distribution as f of x with the parameter p is equal to p power x into 1 minus p power 1 minus x, where x is either 0 or 1 and the distribution is 0 everywhere else. So, our goal is to find maximum likelihood estimator of P. So, given n observations that is x i that has Bernoulli distribution with parameter Bernoulli distribution with parameter p and x i is independent of x j when i is not equal to j. That is, given n iid observations, we want to find an estimate of p. So, the log likelihood l of p is defined as logarithm of the product i equal to 1 to n, the probability distribution of x given p of course, probability distribution of the observation x i. So, given p. So, this can be rewritten as summation of from i equal to 1 to n since logarithm of a product is sum of the logarithms. This can be rewritten as summation i equal to 1 to n logarithm of the probability distribution that is probability p power x i into 1 minus p power 1 minus x i that is parameter p power x i into 1 minus p power 1 minus x i. So, this is the log likelihood function. It can be further simplified as, since this is log of a into b, we can rewrite it as log of a plus log of b. So, we have summation i equal to 1 to n x i times log p plus 1 minus x i times logarithm of 1 minus p. So, to find the maximum likelihood estimator of p, we have to maximize this log likelihood function. We want to find the value of p that maximizes this log likelihood function. That is, find the value of p that maximizes this log likelihood function. This can be accomplished by finding the derivative of the log likelihood function with respect to p and equating it to 0. That is, you basically locate the peak of the log likelihood function. So, derivative with respect to p of the sum of these two terms that is summation i equal to 1 to n x i log p plus 1 minus x i times logarithm of 1 minus p. So, this derivative should be equal to 0. So, the derivative of the first term that is summation i equal to 1 to x i into log p with respect to p is x i into 1 by p that is summation x i, summation i equal to 1 to n x i times 1 by p. And next, the derivative with of the second term is summation i equal to 1 to n 1 minus x i times 1 by 1 minus p into minus 1 is equal to 0. So, by using simple algebra, we can rewrite this equation as summation i equal to 1 to n x i multiplied by 1 by p minus there is another summation i equal to 1 to n of x i into 1 by minus 1 by 1 minus p into minus 1 into minus 1 plus 1 that is plus 1 by 1 minus p. And the last term is plus summation i equal to 1 to n minus 1 by 1 minus p is equal to 0. So, this implies that this, this the sum of these two fractions is 1 by p into 1 minus p multiplied by the summation i equal to 1 to n x i and this term is minus n times 1 by 1 minus p. So, this is equal to 0. This basically implies that p hat is equal to 1 by n summation i equal to 1 to n of x i. That is, p hat is given by the the maximum likelihood estimator of the parameter p is given by the sample mean of the observations. So, for a Bernoulli distribution, the parameter p 
can be estimated by using the sample mean. Thanks for watching.